Hey Fit Fam, Coach Russo here with You'll Be Fit Forever Premier Senior Fitness Training. Today, blue shirt, lower body strength training. And I want to start with the question, what's the point of building muscle if you're out of alignment? Because if you build muscle while you're out of alignment, guess what those muscles are going to do to you? They're going to make your joints worse. So we are going to be focusing on alignment. And while we're in alignment, getting good contractions through our legs. So we're building muscle that actually sets up our posture to succeed. Okay. How we're going to do that. We'll do some alignment therapy. We'll do some stretches, some core, and then we're going to get into the legs and how to contract the muscles while holding ourselves in alignment. Okay. So you're not going to need any weights. You're going to need a mat and we're actually going to start on the mat. So go ahead, grab your mat lay it out flat and I will see you down there and the knees weights in the hands crawling forward that's the best way to get on the ground okay so we're going to roll to our side you guys seen this so I'm gonna take get my forearm down roll to my hips and then rolling onto my back okay all right so we're gonna start with the alignment therapy now the trick is we want to get our pelvis in a nice neutral position, which is a bit tricky because we all sit all the time, okay? So first, just start head down. I want your palms at your sides. I'm gonna lift this arm up so you can see. And I just want you to arch your lower back and tuck, okay? So we're getting the pelvis to tilt forward and backwards, forward. Don't worry so much about the directions, but just arching, get a nice space, flattening that, rounding, flattening that, rounding and flattening that okay so now take your hands and you're going to put them on these get your little bumps right there okay that's your bones <laughs> now what happens is these bones tend to splay outward and that puts a lot of pressure on our back so we're going to get these bones to come inward okay now the way i like to be doing this is i'm going to essentially grab both my legs okay bring my knees together and you might feel a little bit of tension in the front that's okay and i want to imagine from here, sort of my knees and feet, my knees are staying together, my feet are separating just a little bit, and I'm pulling back, and as you pull back, see, okay, are my hips coming out? Yeah, a little bit, okay. And what we're doing here is just kind of getting that, that sacrum, that big triangle bone in your butt right there, getting that into alignment, okay. All right, up next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our left leg, we're gonna bring it out, but our heel's gonna be down, so the knee's still bent, now you're gonna raise your right leg up to a 90 degree angle, okay? Now, this right hip, try to get it to come towards the center, we're working on that a lot, okay? Now, take your hand, grab underneath your knee, and hold the leg. Don't pull back a lot, okay? Because if you pull back a lot, you're gonna to start to get the pelvis out of position, okay? From here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna point and flex that right foot and get the ankles going. So once the pelvis starts to rotate inward into a neutral position, not an inward position, the knees and ankles are going to function better. We're gonna have stronger joint alignment. It's called the vertical stacking. Okay, circles to the right with the ankle. Now look folks, I always work hard for alignment therapy, but I'm realizing if we take an inordinate amount of time, so more time to set ourselves up at the beginning of the workout, the rest of the workout is just gonna be that much better. Okay, switch directions. I kind of did that already. Okay, now you're gonna bring this leg down, right leg down. We're gonna do the same thing on the left leg. So my right heel is touching. I'm gonna check my hips, turn them inward, grabbing. Now my left leg, 90 degree angle, and I'm holding. So right now we're just setting our pelvis up, nice straight line, and let's point and flex the ankle. If you guys can go back, that would be 610. It's our only stretching. I show you now the best stretch for seniors, supine groin stretch. Very, very powerful stretch. It can set your hips up in alignment. Okay, now we're gonna go circles. I'm going to the left circles, because those angles warmed up. Okay, and to the right. Okay, and relax. So we're actually gonna mimic the supine groin stretch and find a way to kind of speed it up. So my left leg is gonna be out straight, but as your left leg goes out straight, make sure your hip isn't rolling out. And you'll notice that my toe naturally wants to roll to the outside. So I'm gonna roll this left hip in without lifting it up. 
Don't worry so much about the foot because that's going to torque the knee, but get that left up. Now I'm going to raise my right leg up, okay, at a 90 degree angle, and I want to feel. Now they're not going to engage naturally. You want to kind of flex them a little bit, and you want to flex them by feeling like you're pushing your tailbone down. Okay, now from here, I'm going to touch my heel to the ground, and up, and touch my heel to the ground, and up. And what we're doing is we're strengthening our hip flexor, we're strengthening our core, and we're getting that hip in alignment here, holding good, up and down. They work in those hips, up and down. It's going to be a challenge to keep your pelvis in a line right now, and that's okay. We want to challenge ourselves, setting ourselves up nicely. Three, two, hold. We're going to switch legs, okay? So right leg out straight. Check that right hip bone. Make sure it's coming in. All right, good. Mine's coming in nicely. Why? Because I did the supine groin stretch last night. Hmm. Okay, coming in. Left leg is going to come up. Now, when I left leg came up, I felt this rotation. So I'm going to align myself here. Now I'm going to engage my core by pushing my tailbone into the ground and up and down with this leg. Nice and slow and controlled, folks. This is like our warm-up. Right? We're really just trying to get in proper alignment. It's so important. Up and down. Good. You could argue that all exercise therapy depends on the vertical stacking of joints, proper alignment. Okay, up and down here, making sure my hips are on. You can see I have my hands on my hips to align them up and down. Let's go. Make sure my core is working, drive my tailbone in. And three, two, and good. Let's put our feet flat. Okay. Now we're going to keep our hips in line. They're rotating in. I'm going to come up into a little bridge right here. Now the tendency when we bridge is to really bow the legs out. Don't do that right now. Just keep the hips in a line, getting my glutes turned on. And what we're going to do is we're going to imagine we have a block between our legs. Okay. When you squeeze a block, don't bring your knees together. Keep them neutral. And you're going to squeeze a block. And I want you to squeeze your glutes in the block. One. So essentially we're locking our hips into a nice position. Use the word lock. We're setting our hips in a nice position here. Squeezing your glutes, squeezing the inner thighs. Holding, holding. Good. And keep pulsing and squeezing. Now my abs are actually relaxed. My face is relaxed. But my glutes and my inner thighs are working. Getting this nice contraction, squeezing. Okay, three, two, one, and release. All right, so left leg comes out, keep the knee bent, right leg's gonna come up, lock the knee out, pull the toe back, okay? Now, I'm gonna reach behind my knee. You can see my hamstrings are a little tight today. <laughs> and I wanna focus on keeping my leg straight, pulling my toe back, and I'm gonna keep my hips in a line, make sure that left leg's not coming out. And I'm stretching my hamstring. And let's point and flex the ankle point and flex. So it's like this. Same thing with building muscle out of alignment. What's the point of stretching out of alignment, right? Endless stretching will essentially just disengage a lot of muscles. So we want to stretch with purpose. Okay. Point and flex. Three, two, one. Relax. Check the hips again. You're probably going to hear me say that about 500 times today. And coming up with left leg, hold, lock the knee out, okay? Here, feeling, I'm feeling a big stretch. Making sure my hips are in place here. And point and flex the ankle. Good. Now you may or may not have noticed, but I'm actually tricking us <laughs> into, into working our core muscles here. Good, my right hip was turning out. And three, two, one, and release. Good. All right, so we're gonna do we're gonna do a, we're gonna do a core exercise. We're gonna do marches from core power. So traditionally in core power, we're getting this big tuck. Okay, we're engaging it. I don't want you to tuck so much as much as I want you to drive your tailbone into the ground. So I keep a nice neutral arch, and from here I'm gonna lift one. Lift my left leg, keep my knee bent. I'm really focusing on my hip alignment. Good, and holding up and down. driving my pelvis into the ground. Now from here, we're gonna work a modified unicycle, okay? And what that means is one foot's gonna be on the ground. So my left leg's gonna come out, heel's gonna touch. And I'm checking my hip bones, okay? Touch, and touch, good. Touch, and touch, and touch, good. Keep working that. <laughs> my shins are on fire, let's go. Reaching and touching, good. 
and release. Okay, feet flat. We're going to bridge up, okay? Now, from bridge, I want you to walk your feet away from your head with your toes up, okay? Make sure the hips are in alignment. And I want you to push your right heel into the ground as hard as you can. You're gonna feel this hamstring, the back of the leg, fire up while keeping my hip neutral. Okay, release. Now press the left leg into the ground, firing up. Good, and release. Right leg. You really wanna contract those muscles, folks. You gotta put in a lot of mental energy and relax. Left leg driving in. Okay, now if you try both legs, and I wanna feel like I'm pulling my hips forward, hooking, and release. Good, and pull, and release, and pull, and relax it out, okay? Very nice. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll onto our sides, okay? We're gonna come into Mermaid, so I'm gonna be up on one shoulder here. And we're working this last week. So this top hip, I'm gonna send it down. And I wanna make sure my right hip bone isn't turning out, okay? It's staying in, long, okay? From here, I'm gonna keep this hip long, drive my hips up for a side bridge, getting our core also working the side of the glute. Right, up and down. So traditionally when we work that side of the hip, it's to help the knee track straight. But I realize if your pelvis is in alignment, your knee naturally tracks straight. However, we also want to strengthen this muscle. It'll help with all that osteoporosis in the hips. Okay, you're gonna hold it, hold the top, and then top leg comes up for clamps. 10, nine, eight, squeezing that glute. You gotta put that work in. As soon as coach says that, he loses count. <laughs> Three, two, one, and release, core muscle. Okay, let's change sides. I'll switch so you guys can see me. You guys can just roll to the other side, okay? So I'm here, I'm down. Now, I set myself up real nice, okay? Top hip rolling down, rolling away. Make sure this hip is rolling, not rolling forward, but keeping neutral. A lot of times it will splay backwards, okay? Now from here, hips up for side bridge and down. Hips up for side bridge, good. And let's keep working that up and down, up and down, up and down, you guys got it. Good, up and down, and up. Okay, now we're gonna hold it. Make sure that top hip is staying long away from the head. Lifting up and down, okay, lifting up and down. Getting that clamp. Make sure you're contracting that muscle with your brain. You guys got it, let's go. And up and down, and up and down. Good, breathing. And three, two, one, and release, okay? Let's roll here. We're gonna be on our forearms, okay, for Sphinx, okay? So remember, Sphinx isn't quite a plank. Okay, now from here, I wanna do is drop your stomach and really arch your lower back. Oh, stretch that out, okay? Now we're gonna come into a nice neutral position, stomach in. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your right leg and you're gonna kick it out. Okay, this is actually gonna stretch our leg out. Now look, don't turn the foot, stay in that neutral position. And what I want you to do is I want you to squeeze your glute and squeeze your hamstring. Okay, and release, and squeeze, and release. Okay, bring that right leg in. Now we're gonna work the right leg, but as your leg goes out, I want you squeezing those muscles, okay? A lot of times people just throw the leg out there, that's not gonna do much. We're gonna go slow, squeeze, and coming in, good. Squeezing that glute as it comes out and coming in. So we're teaching ourselves to extend that hip in a nice neutral position here. And our spine is actually unloaded, which is nice. And squeezing, good. And release, and squeezing, good. Breathing. Very nice, okay. And relax. All right, we're gonna switch legs. So left leg out, hold it. Squeezing the glute, squeezing all the muscles. Good. And relax, keep that left hip in, and squeeze. And release, one more, and squeeze, and release. Okay, bring the left knee in, boom, come and kick out. And as I'm doing, I'm flexing those muscles in the back of my leg. And flex, good. And flex, very nice. And flex, good, keep working that. And flex, and flex, good. Two, last ones, two. Okay, coming in and pushing back for a child's pose. Short break, pushing back. Nice deep breath. All right, so far so good, folks. We're setting ourselves up nice for a nice leg workout. 
And what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna come into bear. Okay, so my wrists are flat, my hands are flat, good. Okay, now what I want you to do is I want you to tuck your knees, squeeze your glutes, and then lift your knees up three inches. Three, two, and one, okay? Now we're gonna come into a modified bear, I'm gonna call it leopard, because it's fun, is it's not quite a downward dog, well it's not, well, let me just show you. Okay, so breathe in, you're gonna lift your knees up, now I want you to drop your stomach, push your hips back just a little bit, keeping your, your, um, your knees slightly bent, and I want you to drop your stomach, try to arch your back. Good, getting our hip in extension. Now check my knees, check my hips, make sure they're straight, holding. Now from here, breathe in, exhale, straighten the legs out as much as possible, and come into downward dog, okay? Downward dog, stretching, trying to drop the heels down. Now your heels might not get down today. Okay, now from here, I want you to breathe in, exhale, drop the knees down, and recover. Okay, so if you need to, go ahead and roll your mat up. You're like, coach, when you get a water break, you'll get a water break soon. Okay, roll your mat up, so that way the knees don't take a lot of a blunt force. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna posture up nice and tall. Right leg's gonna come forward into kneeling lunge. Now look, I want my knee right over my ankle with my hips in line, okay? So you're gonna hold. I want you to squeeze this back glute, push your right leg into the mat, get a contraction, all your leg muscles. Okay, breathe in. Exhale, dive into the pool, hands down inside the foot. Okay, from here, arch your back, get it nice and straight. Tuck your back toe, lift the back knee for runner's lunge, and hold, okay? Now, driving your legs into the ground, take your right elbow, the elbow closest to the knee, and press it in to your knee for balance. Now shift your weight into your right leg, and bring both elbows onto your knee for modified high lunge. Hold for balance, okay? Driving that hip in, holding everything. Now some people can stand up from this position. We're not gonna do it today. Some people can, some people can't. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my hand down. Boom, bring my other hand down. Good, I'm gonna switch legs here. Come up into prayer on our knees, stepping forward now with the left foot, okay? Make sure your ankle, your knee is over your ankle, right? You're pressing your left foot into the ground, squeezing your right glute, okay? You're gonna breathe in, inhale. And exhale, dive into the pool, hands down inside the foot, okay? Arch your back, getting your back straight, and I'm gonna take my back knee out, hold, for runner's lunge, all right? And take my left elbow onto my left knee. I'm gonna do shift my weight into this left foot here, shifting the weight. Now I'm bring my right elbow and right knee for modified high lunge, hold. Make sure you're squeezing your leg muscles, breathing. Exhale, hands come down, right? Left, bring the back knee down. Stepping through into crawl. And then from here, we're gonna stand up and get water. So stand up, right? Crawl, lift the knees, walk the feet in, walk the hands back. Go ahead and roll and stand all the way up, okay? So you can put your mat away and we're gonna keep going with our standing leg exercises. You will need a wall at some point, okay? But I'll make time for you guys to kind of set yourself up on the wall. We're not gonna do that first, but we are gonna do that very shortly, okay? So get water, put the mat away, and I'll see you standing. All right, Fit Fam, we are standing. We're gonna be in neutral stance. We're gonna check our hip alignment. So bring your hands around these bones and imagine you got these like flaps, okay? You wanna make sure the flaps are nice and straight. And from here, we're gonna stand up tall. We're gonna squeeze our glutes. Squeeze and release and squeeze and release. And try to get all your glute fibers. Squeeze the upper hip and release, squeeze and release. You'll notice I'm not squeezing my knees together. I'm just squeezing my glutes and release. Pelvic floor too. My abs are essentially pretty relaxed, okay? Squeeze and release, 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 squeeze. Very powerful, okay? So now we're gonna turn our feet out a little bit. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. Squeeze. <laughs> I know it seems simple, folks, but it's really powerful for alignment. And squeeze. And when we do our next exercise, it's gonna come into play. Squeeze. We're a little bit less in this position. Squeeze and release. 
squeeze and release, squeeze. One more, one more squeeze. Okay, now from here we're gonna turn our toes in. Okay, slide bend the knees and squeeze and release, squeeze and release, squeeze and release, really squeeze those glutes. Come on, we're working them. And release. You can do all the band exercises you want all day, but getting this contraction and proper alignment is the trick. And release, squeeze, and three, two, one, and recover. Okay, folks, so this next exercise, this is my favorite lower body exercise for seniors. It is the squat hold. Now, you're gonna open yourself up in a squat stance, so you start neutral, one stride length, slight turn out in the toes, okay? My knees are gonna be minusculely bent, okay? Just barely bent. And from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push my hips back. Now, this is called a hip hinge, so once I push my hips back, I wanna start contracting my glutes and my hamstrings, start to turn on my stabilizers. And as I go down, I'm leaning forward, and I'm gonna set myself up nice right here, and I'm gonna squeeze. So I wanna check my hips are, just depending on flexibility and strength, they might be at parallel, they might be a little bit lower, they might be a little higher, but here I wanna make sure my glutes are turned on, my core is engaged, and I'm gonna hold it, okay? We just worked a lot on our hip alignment, so that's gonna help, but also I'm getting a really good contract of all my stabilizers. Hold it for 10 to 15 seconds. Repeat two to three times. Okay, coming up. Nice. Now, if that hurts your knees, don't go as low, all right? But let's repeat it, okay? So I'm here, set myself up nice and tall, and slight bend of the knees, push the hips back, make sure I'm contracting my hamstrings and glutes, firing all my stabilizers, okay? And I'm gonna hold. 10 to 15 seconds, engage. Now what we're doing is we're building stability in the legs. And we're also building muscle in proper alignment since we held onto it for so long. All of which are very important. Okay. And coming up. Very nice, breathe. All right, we got one more on us, you ready? Okay, so breathe in, inhale. And exhale, pushing the hips back, pushing the hips back, pushing back and I'm gonna hold, okay, holding. Make sure I'm firing the muscles, right? They're not gonna turn themselves on. I gotta consciously engage them. And three, two, standing up nice and slow. All right, so start to get yourself closer to the wall. You need to pause the camera and get it. Go ahead and do that. <clears throat> now, we're gonna be working something similar on the wall, but the wall's gonna support our spine so we can get a little bit more into our legs, okay? So you found your wall yet? Let's do it. So what you do is you're gonna put your back flat against the wall, bring your feet slightly in front. Now don't worry so much about your head, right? But you do want your hips against the wall and my upper back. My feet are slightly in front because if my heels are touching the wall, my butt's gonna get in the way. So my feet are slightly in front. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend my knees gradually, okay? Dropping down. Now you don't have to get all the way down, but I wanna imagine here, I got a slight block between my legs, squeezing them in. Okay, make sure my hips are engaged, my glutes are engaged, and now push your heels into the floor, pushing your back into the wall. It's gonna get the back of the legs, and you're gonna hold. Now, if you wanna work your posture, take your hands, turn your feet out, driving, holding. Good. Breathe. Relax, hold, keep driving the legs, squeezing the glutes. Let's go 10 more seconds, nine, Eight, I'm gonna time this one. <laughs> In five, four, three, two. Push yourself away from the wall. Yeehaw, good. And release. All right, so take some time, reset yourself. Maybe you're just doing right in. Up until this point, we've been working what we call isometrics and also stabilizing so everything is grounded and you, you didn't see a lot of movement okay so now we're going to move into the movement portion but if you do those isometric first it's my belief that now during the movements we're going to be in better alignment okay so since we did a lot of squats we're gonna go ahead and work our ski jumper okay so the ski jumper is a little bit different it is called a deadlift so i'm in neutral stance i turn to the side so you guys can see me now core is engaged slight bend the knees push your hips back while folding at the waist okay now, the difference between a ski jumpers, I don't bend my knees as much, okay? Here, boom, hold. Now, push your hips forward. Okay, coming back, 
hold, push your hips forward. Now in more advanced, you guys can kind of you can kind of contract, come up, boom, a little bit quicker. Start getting a little bit of cardio going. Here, holding, snapping the hips. Good. Here, holding, snapping the hips. Good. And back, hold, snap those hips. Good. Back, hold, snapping the hips. You guys got it. Let's go. Back, hold, snapping the hips. Good. Back, hold. And snapping the hips. Very nice. All right, so from this position, from the neutral stance, I'm gonna scoot back so you can see me. I'm gonna step forward with my left leg, heel to toe, high lunge. Now, as soon as I get in high lunge, I wanna feel my glute and my hamstring contract, boom. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push off and step back. Switch legs, heel toe roll, pop. As soon as I do, my glutes and hamstrings are turned on and pushing back. Okay, stepping forward, catch, hold. And step back, good. Stepping forward, catch, hold, and push back. By now your legs might be a little bit fatigued. Let's keep working, working on the balance. Hold, stepping back, step, hold, good. Pushing back, and repeat, here we go. Step, hold, pushing back, step, hold, pushing back. Let's keep working, step, hold, good. Pushing back, step, hold, Two more, two more, you guys got it. Here we go, step, hold, pushing back, step, hold, and pushing back. Nice work. Good, breathe. We're wrapping things up, folks, okay? What we wanna do is we're gonna work our abs standing as well as a little bit of balance. Okay, so we're coming in neutral stance. Make sure your hips are in alignment, always. I'm gonna engage my core. I'm gonna lift my left knee up and down. Now don't just mindlessly lift the leg up. Imagine pulling with your core muscles and relax. Okay, other leg pulling up and release. Now based on your balance and your experience, that's how high the knee will go. Okay, relax, good. If you're only here today, that's fine. Keep practicing, you'll get there. All the way up, okay. Just go as high as you can, slow and controlled, working on your abs, okay. Working on the abs, good. Standing, very nice. Kinda good. Keep working those legs using your abs. Okay. Now we do from here is we're gonna come up and then step to the side, working our adductors. This is gonna be the final exercise for the breathing work. Okay. So you're gonna come up. Now look, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you maximum potential. Okay. So coming all the way up. I'm gonna step over to the side. Boom, slight bend in my knees. Step your feet together. You'll notice I took a side step. Okay, it's practice on the other side. So lifting my knee up, using my core, pushing, stepping to the side, slight bend in the knees, and together. So keep working that. Now, if you're only here today, that's totally fine, okay? And if you're not even there, just big step to the side, working the side of the hips. Just keep practicing your balance, right, and your leg strength, good. Now, for my more advanced, working on our abs, pushing, catching ourselves, slight bend the knees. It's important when you land to bend your knees. Okay, lifting up, pushing, boom, engaging the abdominals, and step. Lifting, pushing, engaging the abdominals as you step. Lifting, pushing over, catching, and release. Good. Up, driving over, and release. Do one more to each side, okay? Drone pace. I'm gonna go super slow, lifting with my abs, pushing over, and release, last one, lifting with my abs, pushing over, and recover, good, check it out. Nice work today, if you made this far in the video, congratulations. Let's go ahead, we're gonna do our breathing exercise, kinda let everything wind down. Now, we're here in our neutral stance, okay? And this is gonna work on our posture, on our breathing, on our upper body carriage, just letting the legs kinda relax here, okay? So I'm gonna come into high circle. So high circle's here, my posture is lifted. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna breathe in, my thumbs are gonna rotate to the back of the room, and I'm gonna gently lift my rib cage and my vision and my chin, okay? Breathing in, and exhale. Gently lift your ribs, barely lift your chin. Sorry, I hit the microphone. Barely lift your chin, I just did it again. <laughs> barely lift your chin, okay? Don't get this huge cervical extension. So here, high circle, let's do it together. Breathing in, lifting rib cage, inhale. And exhale. Good, inhale. And exhale. Good, breathing in, inhale. And 
and exhale. Good. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Good. Exhale. You guys are doing a great job. Breathe in. Inhale. And exhale. Okay. Breathing in. Inhale. And exhaling. Arms down. So our closing breaths. Breathe in. Crossing the arms. Breathing in. Inhale. And exhale. Very nice. And inhale. And exhale. Last one. We're coming in forward fold. Inhale. And exhale. Dive into the pool. Reaching down. Looking behind you. Letting everything really hang out. Just relax. Okay, reflecting on your workout. Nice work today. Go ahead, roll up nice and slow. And workout complete. Your souls round of applause. Thank you for bearing with it. You just invested in your health. I guarantee you that working on the alignment is going to have a huge and lasting impact. I've been studying this relentlessly for a long time, and I feel like finally, not finally, but we've kind of cracked the code and we're moving forward. Been testing with a lot of private clients. It's been working extremely well. Now I'm doing it with you guys, and I hope and to hear about just the positive feedback and what happens. Okay? Really appreciate you guys. Tomorrow, yellow shirt, dance party. Get ready to work, but we're also going to be keeping our hips in alignment the whole time, okay? It's very, very important. I would not be stressing it this much. All right, so thank you guys so much. Please stay tuned for tomorrow. If you're on YouTube, if you could share this video with someone else who wants to work out, who's over the age of 60, maybe stuck at home, maybe bored, maybe doing the same workouts over and over again. It's a little bit something different, okay? So with that, I'm Coach Russo, and this is You'll Be Fit Forever. Peace.